Graham King, Graham Peter King is my name, but I go online by the name Armadillo Zenith, so I can be found there in various guises. What a dream When I was a kid, uh, and still, <laughs> as I'm fascinated by robots and space, uh, I sometimes look ab absent minded and not as watchful perhaps as I should be. So, uh, <laughs> this poem is called Robots Ate My Tricycle. <laughs> Robots Ate My Tricycle. They ate it fast, for sure. They'd lost some of their parts, you see, and found they needed more. Well, they didn't really eat it, just consumed it double quick, as fast as if they'd gobbled it up, those robots super slick. The bearings gave them wrists and knees. The handlebars and arm, because when they wrestle mo monsters, even robots come to harm. And likewise, all the tubing, replacing thighs and shins, robots have their bones on show, not covered up by skins. The cables for their sinews, they're equipped with extra strength, would be another thing they'd use, once snipped to the right length. All went into some needed shape. They'd melt the saddle, plastic, so not a bit was left after those robots' actions, drastic. They had my pedals, ankle joints, the mud guards, ribs, and sprocket. And after they took all these bits, they took off in their rocket. I'm sad to lose my tricycle, but rather happy too to know it roams the galaxy as parts of you-know-who. Super speed and secrecy are part of their design to help fulfill each mission and then go leaving no sign. I wish I'd really seen them, but the evidence was clear. Only robots can so quickly make trikes disappear. It must have been those robots. No humans were about. I'd better tell my mum and dad and hope that they won't shout. <laughs> I just saw a little dead bird at the side of the road. Its uh, eyes were closed and so were its toes. And I realized that it reached its death because there didn't seem to be a whole lot of breath passing through its pointy little nose. Yeah, I saw this little dead bird at the edge of the street. Its eyes were shut, as I've said, and so were its feet. And though it looked kind of small and neat, I was sorry it had met defeat. Its little dead bird at the edge of the street. Well, as I passed this little dead bird along the way, I thought that I should stop and take a moment to pray. But then I thought, no, that's absurd, because really it's just a little dead bird. And so I continued on my way.